Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Pete Blackshaw with the Nielsen Company. Um, so, could you talk a little bit about uh, your business and uh, what you're doing here at WITS? Well, our business at Nielsen is to measure um, all sorts of, you know, market developments and data, and we, we focus a lot on measuring online conversation or buzz. We can slice it by key influence or key source, key type. Uh, level of velocity and what I talked about today in my keynote speech to Wits was really about how the wine community can harness the power of social media. I talked a lot about the importance of listening, I talked a lot about the power of expanding existing relationships into this new area, I talked about the spectrum of engagement whether it's Twitter, Facebook, um, blogs, uh, message boards, communities, the whole area. Uh, but one of my key messages is that hey listen this is a community that has a right to win, partly because you've already been thinking about these things. To some extent, Social Media Web 2.0 is really an extension of the wine industry's birthright in relationship marketing. And as long as we kind of keep the core foundations close to home, we have a right to win in an environment where I frankly think a lot of marketers are screwing up. Uh, it's, this is an industry that I think can really get it right and potentially halo the right approach for everyone else. Cool. So, um basically answered most of my questions. Um, <laughs> with respect to uh, image control though, okay. how do businesses utilize social media in a way that effectively cultivates the human interaction without cheapening it? Because as someone who, a vet from Facebook when it was only for students, yeah. you know, there's, there is skepticism. Sure. You know, now there's all these businesses. Sure. But. Sure. So. To succeed in social media, you clearly have to do it the right way, and you have to be credible. I wrote a book recently called Satisfied Customers Tell Three Friends, Angry Customers Tell 3,000, and it's all about brand credibility. And in my keynote speech, I talk about six drivers of credibility, trust, transparency, authenticity, listening, responsiveness, and affirmation. That's if you type in a wine into Google, either it's affirmed or it's not. And all of those variables I described come to life in very big ways in the social media environment. So we have to be authentic. We have to be transparent. Frankly, we can't lose the trust. It's impossible to get it back. And we have to be empathetic listeners. And I think consumers will be the ultimate judge of whether we're measuring up to those standards. But again, I think the wine industry is in a good position to get all those areas right. I will say this, a lot of companies are screwing it up and again, it's important to start with key foundations. Okay, so why should people involved in the wine industry and technology be here at WITS conference? Well, one advantage of being at WITS is that there's a great group of stakeholders bringing all sorts of expertise, best practices, passion, which is very important about uh, delivering value in this space. And social media is clearly a cornerstone of bringing that type of value. We've heard from a whole spectrum of vendors. You've had big companies like me from Nielsen talking about analytics in a macro perspective. You've got folks representing uh, Twitter coalitions. You've got folks representing mom uh, social media experts in wine, um, but again, sharing, learning, what works, what doesn't, and kind of, I think there's nothing like a, a kind of a group effort where we're learning together, rising tide lifts all boats, and I really think that's what WITS is all about. It's my first event, but I really hope, and this is a blatant, shameless pitch, uh, that I'm invited again to come back, because I love this conversation. Thanks, and uh, last question, why drink wine? Why drink wine? Why drink wine? Listen, I mean, wine is uh, a wonderful experience for many reasons. Obviously, um, who cannot get excited about the taste? Uh, but it also is something that always has a deeper story uh, behind it, whether it's how it was made, the culture that it's from, uh, the great experiences you've had uh, with the wine. So there's something about, um, and obviously it goes phenomenally well with food. Let's not forget, you know, the obvious. Um, and uh, being a Sicilian, um, at least half Sicilian, I certain um, heritage connection with uh, the wine community. So um, those are a few reasons from uh, a relative wine no novice. Thanks.